First in the spotlight tonight is the Radio 5 Live presenter Phil Williams on the Dirty Harry films. <laughs> Next, the comedian John Robbins. He'll be answering questions on Queen. <laughs> Lydia Bright from The Only Way is Essex takes as her subject the television series Sex and the City. And the former Liberal Democrat leader Tim Farron on Blackburn Rovers. And our next contender, please. And your name is? John Robbins. Your chosen charity? Standing Together Against Domestic Violence. And your chosen subject? Queen. Queen. In 90 seconds, here we go. In April 1974, Queen reached the top ten in the UK singles chart for the first time. With what song? Seven Seas of Rye. Yep. Who co-produced a number of Queen's early studio albums, including Sheer Heart Attack? Roy Thomas Baker. Yes. Queen embarked on a major tour of America at the beginning of 1977. At some of the gigs, they were supported by which Irish rock band? Pass. Which song by Roger Taylor has a video inspired by the Fritz Lang sci-fi film Metropolis and gave the band a number two single in 1984? Radio Gaga. Yep, the waistcoat worn by Freddie Mercury in the video of These Are the Days of Our Lives features painted images of what animals? Cats. Yes. What's the name of the American Idol finalist who appeared as the lead vocalist with Queen at the MTV European Music Awards in 2011 a and has since toured internationally with the band? Adam Lambert. Yep. Who directed the video for Bohemian Rhapsody? It was first shown on Top of the Pops in in November 1975 is often regarded as the first true rock video. David Russell? No, Bruce Gowers. Which John Deacon song on the Night at the Opera album was a top ten hit in the UK in 1976? You're My Best Friend. Yes. Songs from the album A Kind of Magic were used on the soundtrack of a 1986 film starring Sean Connery and Christopher Lambert. Which film? Highlander. Yes. What's the final track on the album A Night at the Opera? God Save the Queen. Yep. Freddie Mercury's final live performance with Queen was as part of a night of summer magic in 86 at which festival venue? Nebworth. Yep. A tribute concert was held at Wembley Stadium in 92 following the death of Mercury and proceeds went to an age charity created by the band. Which charity? The Mercury Phoenix Trust. The Mercury Phoenix Trust it was. You had one pass. They were supported by an Irish rock band called... Thin you know, Lizzy. Thin Lizzy. Thin exactly. Lizzy. It's much easier when it's all over, isn't it? Thin Lizzy. But, John, you've got ten points as well. Thank you very much. Now, John, again, please. And, John, you have the great honour of having won the Edinburgh Award, the Edinburgh Festival. Yes. If you won an award for writing a great book or a piece of music or whatever it was, it would be there forever. You do a stand-up routine, you win an award for it, and it's gone. You're right, and I think um, a lot of stand-ups are probably quite jealous of musicians in that you can refine and refine and refine, mm. and then suddenly you've got this album and you can say, well, that's what it is forever. But I think that's what keeps you writing, because you're constantly chasing that new thing. And, and also, you need, you need new material for your career to carry on, because people are happy to go and see musicians do their hits. But once you've heard a joke, the sort of something's lost from the joke. And are you rewriting all the time? There's lots of tweaking and editing. And, and then, obviously, in the moment, it changes and you retell it and you find a new way in. That's what's exciting about it. Yeah. Anyway, well done. You've got ten points in the bag. So you've uh, got to score more than 18, as it stands. Let's see how you do. Here we go. Two minutes of general knowledge. What dessert is known in Italy as gelato, a word that means frozen? Ice cream. Yep. Which brothers, known as Groucho, Chico and Harper, were the stars of the films A Night at the Opera and Duck Soup? Marx Brothers. Yep. What name is given to a straight line from one side of a circle to the other that passes through its centre? Diameter. Yes. What machine, now a common sight on the high street, was first installed at a branch of Barclays Bank in Enfield in 1967? Cash machine. Yep. Which formula one racing driver who was the subject of a 2010 biopic had the surname Da Silva but used his mother's maiden name because Da Silva's a very common surname in Brazil. Etten Senna. Yes. Which song by the Puerto Rican pop singer Luis Fonsi featuring Justin Bieber and the Puerto Rican rapper Daddy Yankee topped the UK singles charts in May 2017? I've no idea, Pass. What six-letter slang term do Australians use after the word fair to mean the genuine article? Dinkum. Yeah. What is the title of the lateral-thinking television quiz show presented by Victoria Corran Mitchell? Only Connect. Yes. Germany's invasion of which country in August 1914 brought Britain into the First World War? 
Poland. Belgium. Which Lennon and McCartney song includes the French lyric Sans les mots qui vont très bien ensemble? Pass. What is the alcoholic ingredient of a mojito cocktail together with soda water, lime juice, sugar and mint leaves? Rum. Yep. Which seabird that has a large multicoloured triangular beak is also known as the sea parrot or bottlenose? Puffin. Yes. Which major seaport is on the Gulf of Lyon, an arm of the Mediterranean near the mouth of the River Rhone? Pass. What name is given to the soft, lustrous fibre produced by caterpillars of certain species of the genus Bombyx that principally feed on mulberry leaves? Silk. Yes. Part two of an oratorio by Handel is brought to a close by the Hallelujah Chorus. Which oratorio? Water music. The Messiah. What is the title of Stella Gibbons' novel that tells of a visit by Flora Post to her relatives in rural Sussex? It was filmed for television and starred Kate Beckinsale and Rufus Sewell, among others. Pass. I can tell you because you're out of time. Cold Comfort Farm. You had uh, four passes altogether. Marseille was that major seaport, the arm of the Mediterranean. Uh, Michel, sans les monkeys, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, Despacito was the name of that song by the Puerto Rican pop singer, but not normally there either. You go. Anyway, you've got 20 points. Thank you very much. So there we are, a clear winner. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, eight points, Lydia. Third place, 18 points, Phil. Second place, 20 points, John. First place, 24 points, Tim.